So you're thinking about going to Victoria, BC, but when you travel, you want to be active. You'll be glad to know that there's a ton of activities like hiking, biking, boating, and much more, all within the city or a short drive away. Welcome to our nine active things to do when visiting Victoria, BC, Canada. Located in the district of Saanich is Mount Douglas Park. This park has 188 hectares of beautiful old growth forest. The trees are huge and we're like in the middle of this forest and like 21 kilometers of hiking trails. All right, we're getting into some black, double black, hill climbing here. I feel like a cliff down to your death would be double black. Maybe. This is a... Blue plus. Blue plus. <laughs> <laughs> you can climb to the top of the mountain or walk down to the ocean and stroll the rocky beach. There's tons of bird life, including blue herons and bald eagles. If you get lucky, you may even see whales swim by. All the trails are well marked out and easy to navigate. After 12 p.m. noon, you can drive Churchill Drive to the top of Mount Douglas if you don't feel like hiking to see this amazing 360 degree view of Victoria. You won't believe you're in the city with the towering old growth trees which surround you. It's only a 25 minute drive or a 45 minute bus ride from downtown Victoria. Sombrio Beach is located west of Victoria and makes for a great day trip. This drive is 1 hour and 45 minutes from Victoria and has beautiful views of lush forests and the coastline during your drive. Well, we finally found Sombrio Beach. This is the sign. We had to drive halfway down an access road to find it. What makes this beach special is that it has a secluded waterfall, which is amazing. It's a little difficult to find. We took a couple of wrong turns searching for the waterfall. I'm disappointed we're not finding that waterfall. I swear I read about a waterfall somewhere on Sombrio Beach and I don't see anything. We almost gave up and those nice people back there, they just told us that it's like another 12 minute walk. It's also a great beach to camp if you feel like staying longer. Cycling the Lockside Trail is a great way to see the city by bike. The trail stretches all the way from Schwartz Bay where the ferries dock to the switch bridge where it connects to the Galloping Goose Trail. It was formerly a rail line which runs through the wetlands, farmlands, down country lanes and along highways. There's cafes, shops and even little cookie stands along the way. Hey, there's a little cookie stand. It's on the honorary system. So they sell chocolate chip, peanut butter. It looks like they, sometimes they sell scones. You either put your cash there or they accept e-transfer. So they're relying on people being honest. I think that's awesome. Hopefully it's not poison, right? This is a great way to spend a sunny West Coast day with your family. Mackenzie Bight Trail is a 3.1 kilometer loop which takes you down a well-marked path to the Mackenzie Bight Beach area. All right, we're doing the Mackenzie Bight Trail today, which takes us to uh, an ocean view and- uh, Cascade Falls. Views here are stunning, and if you look across the inlet, you can see the Malahat Skywalk. On your way back, you'll head up the Cascade Trail, which has a beautiful waterfall. Hey guys, this is Cascade Falls. Beautiful. This waterfall may not be flowing in the summer months, but it's still worth the hike. The Mackenzie Bike Trailhead is only a 30 minute drive from downtown Victoria. Zip lining in Souk, BC. Just a 35 minute drive from Victoria is a journal line zip line company. See, it's just a little bit out of uh, Victoria. Let me go zip lining. Be excited. <laughs> Woohoo! Mm. It has eight zip lines traversing across a canopy forest with mountain and ocean views. The tour starts with a short ride on a huge off-road vehicle up the mountain to the start of the zip line course. Not only do you get to zip line, you also get to cross a wobbly suspension bridge. We're gonna go across the suspension bridge now. We've done three zip lines and we've got like five more to go. Oh, that's crazy. This is pretty high. This is awesome. This is safe and a super fun day. The whole tour takes about two hours. If you're bringing children, make sure you check their website to see if they're able to do the tour. We highly recommend this for families and the adrenaline junkie. Mystic Beach is another amazing beach with a smaller waterfall. It's located in the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park. Once you get to the trailhead, it's a short two kilometer technical hike down to the beach. We're at the trailhead here and we're just going to do the uh, Juan, de Fuca, Juan de Fuca Marine Trail, which leads to Mystic Beach. 
On the hike, you'll be surrounded by giant old growth trees. Once you get down to the beach, on the right side, you'll find a cave to explore with hundreds of carefully placed rock piles. And on the left side is a small waterfall. This is a great spot to spend the day outdoors with your family. French Beach is another beautiful beach. Located in French Beach Provincial Park, this beach is a perfect spot for the picnic and chill day. This beautiful pebble beach has lots of driftwood and it has stunning views of the Strait of Juan de Fuca. The ocean water here is an aqua marine color. If you're looking to spot wildlife such as orcas, otters, seals and other sea life, this is a great beach for that as well. Elk Beaver Lake Regional Park has tons to offer. It has 15 kilometers of hiking trails, including a 10 kilometer loop around the two lakes. It's 10K. Yes, yes. I didn't want to tell you. No 10K. You lied to me. I didn't want to tell you. 10K. Yeah. <laughs> it has four beaches to chill at and take a dip in. It's also great for kayaking, paddleboarding, fishing, and serves as a training area for Canada's Olympic rowing team. It's just a 20 minute drive from downtown Victoria. Beacon Hill Park is a 200 acre park within walking distance of downtown Victoria. This park is filled with tons of ponds with ducks and geese. It's a great park to walk around and enjoy the beautiful foliage and art. The Moss Lady is a cool statue of a woman laying down covered with moss. It's located on the west side of the park. Beacon Hill's Children's Farm has over 100 animals including goats, llamas, chickens, pigs, donkeys and a miniature horse. Admission is by donation. There's pathways everywhere, views of the ocean, and a tall totem pole built in 1956. And the Beacon Hill Diner, which has been around for 60 years, which serves great soft serve ice cream. We're here, Beacon Drive-In. Used to come here as a kid, I don't know, eight years old. Used to get like these big Good soft idea. ice cream cones with like the size of my head. And remember they would fall off and I'd cry. What'd you get there? What flavor is that? Green apple. Green apple. Victoria has so much to offer. These activities are just the start of many choices you have when visiting. If you're looking for a more detailed guide on Victoria, then click the link in the description to download our latest Victoria guide for the active family. Or watch many of our other videos on Victoria for ideas. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more fun videos.